It's the Art Pro Go Show. Episode Zero, The Introduction. Hey everybody, congratulations on finding this podcast. Thank you very much for looking it up. Um, thank you very much for deciding to give it a listen. This is the origin episode. It's a, it's a prequel. <laughs> episode Zero to what's about to come down the pike. My name is Robert Curie, and I've been working as a creative professional in the toy industry since 1984. Yes, I know, I'm a freaking dinosaur. I've been doing it a long time. I've worked for lots of companies. I have had a hand in the creation of thousands, millions of toys over the years. And in that time, I've met people, I've done things, I've had experiences that I'd like to talk about. So I'm at the gym, and I'm about to go into my third mile on the treadmill, and I'm feeling pretty good. I'm walking along, I'm, I'm feeling the endorphins in my body, and I realize that the show that I want to do is for artists. Yeah, you know who you are. You're sitting at your desk right now with your headphones on, or your, your earbuds in, and you're drawing that little bit of animation... You're, you're doing that breakdown drawing. You're working on ZBrush, sculpting out something for some company that you're working for. You're hunched over your Cintiq. You're getting that perfect translucent layered colored effect with your watercolors. You know what I'm talking about. You guys are artists and you're working. And there's a whole bunch of us out there in the world. There are artists all over the world. Any object, any object made by human beings is designed, okay? So there's a lot of artists out there doing a lot of work. And what I wanted this podcast to be is a combination of art and insight. Let me tell you what I mean. Studs Terkel, the writer, wrote a book called Working. Actually, it was a series of books called Working. I read one of them, but you get the idea. There were a lot of books... And in each book, he would interview people about the work that they did. I think the subtitle was Working. People talk about the jobs they do. And each book would be just someone talking about their job, the different kind of work they did. You could imagine there'd be a telephone operator, a professor, a model, a writer-producer, an actor. You get the gist of what I mean. Now... I don't know if you ever got a chance to read this book. I read it um, in the 80s, riding on the subway in New York, and it kind of rocked my world because it was interviews with people about the jobs they did. Every chapter was a different person doing a different job. And I didn't have to spend time working in those jobs to understand what those jobs were about. Well... We creatives are always looking for ways to apply our skills. We have a few ways that pay the bills that we're used to working, but you know what? Maybe there's another way to use our skills that we might enjoy more. Maybe there's another way to use our skills so that we could maybe earn a little extra. Maybe there's another way to use our skills that is the right way for us to be using our skills. What am I doing doing this job every single day when I could have been doing that job? And so... That's what the Art Pro Go show is. It's a window into how other artists, how other creative professionals do their jobs. You're interested in the lives of these other artists. You get insight into their world. Now, some of the guests I've lined up have names you might recognize. Some of the guests have names you're going to recognize from now on. They're all very creative people applying their different skill sets to do the work they love. All right, it's a podcast for artists, but I'm going to quote them anyway, because it's Sir Isaac Newton. Come on. Sir Isaac Newton, guys. He is pretty serious. And one of the things that he said was, If I see further, it's because I stand upon the shoulders of giants. Wow. That puts an image in your head, doesn't it, illustrators? You know what I'm talking about. So what I want to do is give you a parade of giants so that you could stand on their shoulder and take a look at the world that might be for you if you followed this path or that path. 
Maybe you still have time to switch paths. Maybe you're happy with the path that you're on. You picked the right path. Congratulations. I'm going to be interviewing giants in our industry. Maybe not big famous giants. Maybe not giants in fame, but certainly giants in accomplishment. You're going to hear their stories about how they get their creative work done. They're going to talk about their careers, and maybe you're going to get some insight into a new way of doing your own work. I'm going to be your guide through a forest of giants. A forest of giants. And they're going to show you their worlds. I'm going to ask them questions. They're going to show you their worlds. That's the goal of the show. Let me tell you a story. Years ago when I was in college, I needed to make money. (laughs) What college student doesn't need to make money? Years ago when I was in college, I needed to make money. And I answered an ad on the job board at the School of Visual Arts, the college that I went to. And the job was to be an assistant to a three-dimensional illustrator. Now, then, (laughs) those words, a three-dimensional illustrator, had different meaning than they do now. Now, a three-dimensional illustrator is someone who goes ahead and poses things in Poser, or builds digital models, or or sculpts something out in ZBrush, and lays textures on it, and layers things, and lights it just so, and and does a high-res screen capture. And then you get this illustration that, wow, how did they do that? But then, the illustrator was Kathy Jeffers. She used to sculpt cute characters for clients like Kodak and, uh, I don't know, dog food companies. And and she had a lot of clients. People wanted cute little characters. And they would photograph them. The the Poppin' Fresh Doughboy, there's one. You know, whenever you saw one of those still ads, there'd be what was a sculpture of the Poppin' Fresh Doughboy that they would photograph on on a set. And her job was to sculpt these, you know, um, industrial mascot characters. If you were to go to her portfolio section and poke around, you could see some of these cute characters that she would sculpt. Um, Look at kathyjefferstudio.com. I was her assistant, and I saw the way that she worked in clay. I saw the way that she painted things. I would mix paint for her. I I would paint some things. Um... You know, I I worked as her assistant for a semester or two semesters, and it was very educational. It was a way of earning a living that I hadn't even thought of. I hadn't even thought of it, but there it was. And after working with her and seeing how that was done, I was interested in designing toys. And through her, I met people who were actual toy prototype artists and that kind of got the ball rolling. Back in those days, people used to hand sculpt things out of wax. I got to meet all, a lot of those guys, and it kind of set me on a path of toy design, which is where I spent the bulk of my career, designing toys. But I would have never known that if I hadn't had the chance to pop into her world, to stand on the shoulders of that giant and look at what she was doing and see how she made her way through the world creatively. Wow, there's a lot of power in that. And so that's what I want to do for everybody. I'm either going to interview people about their careers, or I'm going to talk about people and their careers. The Art Pro Go Show. Tell your friends. Tell your friends who are artists. Tap tap the shoulder of that guy in the next cubicle and, and tell him about the Art Pro Go Show. Because I think you're going to want to come along for the ride. I think you're going to like it. So this is episode zero. I'm looking forward to seeing you in episode one. All right. I'm going to try and release these podcasts every week. As far as the length of the podcast goes, you know, honestly, guys, I don't know. Sometimes the podcast is going to be 15 minutes. Sometimes it's going to be half an hour. Maybe sometimes it'll be an hour. It really depends upon my guest and how organically the conversation moves along. If you have an idea for a guest, there's a couple of ways that you can get in touch with me. One is to tweet me on Twitter. 
That's Robert Curie, C-U-R-E-T, at Art Pro Go Show. I've also just put up an Art Pro Go Show Facebook group. So join that, and we'll start a community. Let's see where all this goes. Oh, and, and the podcast wouldn't be complete if I didn't thank Vincent Ramsey for the music that I played on the intro and now again on the outro. This is a song called Haunting. It's by Vincent Ramsey. You can find out about him, his band, Suburban Toys, at soundcloud.com forward slash suburban toys. Thanks, Vincent. All right, guys. 